Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I thought I'd show you how I've been making these videos for the past four or something years. Oh, damn, I feel old. But first I'm going to show you my new super computer. Basically my old computer died, there were blue screens and hard drives failing left, right and centre, so I decided to upgrade everything. So I got a company called Inter Audio based in the UK to make a custom audio PC for me because I have I have no idea what I'm doing. But this thing is awesome. Let me go through the specs. It's got an Asus X299A motherboard, Intel i7-800X, 64 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM, Strix NVIDIA GTX 1060 graphics card, three solid state drives, a cloaking device, warp nine capable, eight phaser banks and a complement of photon torpedoes. Oh, and it also does this. Computer. Yes, sir. T, Earl Grey, hot. Right away, sir. Hmm. So, how do I make videos? Well, first we're gonna need some music. Before filming anything, I think it's important to get as much of the music finished as possible. So that means any recording, any reamping, any mixing, any mastering has to be done before any filming takes place. It doesn't really matter what type of video I'm making. It could be a demo, it could be a new song, it could be even a skit. As long as there's music in it, I try and get as much of that done before anything else, before any filming. So next up, you gotta film stuff. So this may be a bit of a surprise, but I only have one main camera that I film on. Sometimes I borrow others like this GoPro for specific shots, but I mainly stick with my trusty Canon 60D. That's kind of a fancy DSLR camera, but generally if you're making videos at home, any camera will work. I try and get between five and nine different camera angles for every video I make, so I just end up moving the camera around the room, relining up and refocusing and playing through it again. So wait a minute, does that mean you're miming? Yeah. I learned a very long time ago that miming along to the song was a very much more productive way of filming. You don't have to worry about recording two things at once and you can make mistakes and edit around them. So it's way faster, more flexible and I think it's the given method for most YouTubers, I think. It works for me anyway and if you're miming along you should be able to play it anyway so it shouldn't make a difference. Alright, so you got your footage and you got your audio and now it's time to edit. Computer, report, what's going on? Play all birds of prey, be clipping for four bouncer. What again? This is the second time this week. Target the shields, photon torpedoes, full spread. Target destroyed. Splendid, resume course computer. Now, where was I? Editing. So the first thing I always do after importing my footage is to sync it all up. Personally, I find that a lot easier when I'm playing to a click track. I always record my footage playing along to a version of the song that has a click track embedded on it as well. So in the edit later, you can see the click track on the waveform and the audio from the camera and you can line them up really quickly. This is Adobe Premiere Pro, by the way. This is the program I always use for editing and it's awesome. So once everything is in and synced, I then nest the footage and enable the multicam. This means there's only one track of video to work with instead of like five or nine so it's so much easier to get your work done in that space. So next I move on to my colour and this is something most people generally leave to the end of an edit but I like to do it now. First I make sure my footage looks all consistent with each other, the same brightness, the same white balance, stuff like that. That's known as colour correction and then I move on to my colour grade. The colour grade is different from the colour correction because you're taking that corrected footage and changing it stylistically to look the way you want it to look. Say if you wanted to make it look more filmic or flatten it out so it looks less dynamic, this is where you would do that. So next up this is where I edit the bulk of the video. Because of the multicam setup where I can just change between the cameras using the number keys. Depending on the length of the video, this only usually takes around 20 to 30 minutes. All right, so this is where I start adding all of those weird transition effects that I like to do. I'm not gonna show you exactly how I do it, but it's all done in another Adobe program called After Effects. Adobe has a great feature in some of its programs called Dynamic Link. And using Dynamic Link, I can take part of my footage from Premiere Pro and put it in After Effects. This saves a whole bunch of time because before this was a feature, I'd have to render my footage out of Premiere Pro into After Effects, out of After Effects again, and into Premiere Pro again, and any time I'd want to make any changes, I'd have to repeat the process. So finally, with the edit finished, turn the color back on, render it out, and wait. And that's it, all that's left is to make a clickbaity thumbnail and upload to YouTube. Hope that was interesting and you enjoyed it. I know some of you have been asking how I make these videos for a long time now and hopefully you got something out of that. If you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments below, I'll try and get back to you. Sir, so, we have arrived at our destination. Ah, oh, excellent, computer, prepare to beam me down to the surface. Standing by, sir. All right, that'll do it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and consider checking out my Patreon for extras. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'm Pete and I play music. Computer, energize.